In this video, I'm going to show you four examples of dividing fractions using word problems. In the first example, we're going to be dividing a whole number by a fraction. If you look at the problem, it's asking how many quarter cups are in five cups of milk. You have to think about that as starting with five cups of milk and you're actually splitting up the five cups of milk into different one-fourth cup pieces or one-fourth cup groups. So we're taking five and we're dividing it by one-fourth. First, you want to set up the problem in the workspace area of the slide. To record five holes, we're going to record it as five over one and divide it by one-fourth. Now remember that when we divide fractions, you're going to keep the first fraction the same, change the division sign to multiplication, and then flip or find the reciprocal of the second fraction. So one-fourth turns into four over one. Next, you multiply across. So five times four is 20 in the numerator, and one times one is one in the denominator. 20 over one is the same thing as 20 divided by one for a final answer of 20. And this is 20 quarter cups that are in five cups of milk. In the second example, Joanna had three feet of fabric and cut it into strips that were one third of a foot long. So again, we're taking a whole number, three, and dividing it by a fraction, one third. Set up the problem in the workspace area, remembering to put the whole number three over one and dividing it by one third. Remember that to divide a fraction, we're going to keep the first fraction the same. So three over one is three over one. Change the division sign to multiplication and flip the second fraction or find the reciprocal. So one third becomes three over one. Then multiply the numerators, three times three is nine, and multiply the denominators, one times one is one. Nine over one is the same as nine holes. And then we have to add the unit of measurement. So if it asks for how many strips, it is nine strips. In the next example, Susan had a piece of fabric that was an eighth of a yard long. If she separated it into four equal pieces, how many yards was each piece? In this example, we're dividing a fraction by a whole number. So we will start by recording the one eighth of fabric that Susan has and dividing it by four. Again, we write four as a fraction over one. Remember to divide the fractions, we're going to keep the first fraction the same. So 1 8 stays 1 8. Change the division sign to multiplication and then flip or find the reciprocal of the second fraction. So 4 over 1 becomes 1 over 4. Next, multiply the numerators. So 1 times 1 is 1. And then multiply the denominators. 8 times 4 is 32. So the final answer is 1 over 32 and the unit of measurement is yards. In the final example, Sarah has 2 thirds pounds of chocolate. If she breaks it up into pieces that are one ninth of a pound, how many pieces will she have? In this example, we're starting with a fraction, two thirds, and we're splitting that fractional piece up into other fractional pieces. So we're dividing one fraction by another fraction. Record the problem, two thirds divided by one ninth. And then to divide fractions, remember to keep the first fraction the same. So two thirds is two thirds. Change the division sign to multiplication and then find the reciprocal of 1 ninth, which is 9 over 1. Multiply the numerators, so 2 times 9 is 18, and then multiply the denominators, so 3 times 1 is 3. In the answer 18 thirds, we can divide both the numerator and denominator by the same factor in order to reduce the fraction. Their greatest common factor is 3, so when we divide them both by 3, we end up with a fraction of 6 over 1. 6 over 1 reduces to 6 wholes, for a final answer of six pieces.